What is up guys, Cosmic Contender here, here for another part to the RTS 2D tutorial. Today we're going to be making a building and that will spawn units every second. It's not going to be too much, but I also included an extra sprite on the RTS assets on my itch.io page. So right here is my itch.io page and there's a new asset that you can download. I'll show you what it is in just a moment. So right over here, it's a, um, apparently I'm not able to copy it. Give me one second. Let's see if it lets me paste it in here. I'll just drag it in. Okay, cool. So it's a little house, that PNG, nothing too crazy. <clears throat> but we're going to be using that to make a new building. So let's start out with that. So we want a Sprite 2D. I call it, I'm going to call it wizard building. Uh, in the future, it could change uh, depending on what your needs are. And so we're going to try to make this building more optimizable in that sense. And so let's add our uh, sprite there. Okay. And then we also need a static body 2D and two collision shapes 2D. All right, let's go. All right, okay, duplicate that. All right, let's zoom in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move them around. So one thing you can do when you select a, a shapes is you can, instead of selecting them, you can use this move tool. So let's move this one out of the way for now. Go back to the select drag it out to match it so these are the same exact shape so what we're going to do is we're going to make it unique now so now they're not the same shape now i'm going to drag this down just a tad and now i can select this one put it on top make it not take up as much space maybe like this all right <clears throat> so save that so now that will block units from being able to um, collide with it um we also need let's set this um static collision let's set it on three and then also go to our unit and have it set to three here the reason why we want to set on three and not two is so when we are selecting we don't select the building currently in the future we might change that but all right now i don't want to run into any errors because our code doesn't handle it right now okay Next, we're going to add a node 2D. Excuse me, I keep uh, coughing. Uh, so we're going to go spawn position, is what we're going to call it. Again, let's add this uh, grid to it. Uh, currently, I have it 8x8. Uh, eight eight. Uh, and then hit the move tool and let's snap it. Let's move it around this area. You could, if you want to be more precise, not have it on the grid and move it uh, towards like the middle of this, but I'm going to have them spawn right here. We're going to save. And then we also need a timer node. We could do this in code, but I like to do it with the nodes. It makes it a little bit easier to understand. All right. And then well, now we need to add a script to our wizard building. Okay. And click on our spawner timeout. And on our code, we want to add the, connect the signal. Awesome. All right, now let's add a couple of variables. So let's do an export variable. This is for future use case. In case we want to change what units are in the scene, by default, we're going to have it set to our uh, unit. Uh, so if you don't want to type it in like this, which is probably not the right way you would want to do it. You can get rid of this, save, and copy, and you want to copy the path, which is Control Shift C, or you just click it, and then paste it in. And we want to have our string on it. I want to save that. Now <clears throat> we can't load a scene you know, with just a um, path. So what we want to do here is we can do var loaded unit 
and then we want to use this colon packed seen. Okay. And then on our on ready, we want to set our loaded unit. And the reason why we're doing this instead of preloading, what you can do, uh, we want to uh, be more dynamic. And we want to take that unit scene path. It might actually be better just to do path and then I'm just path. Well, that's more descriptive, makes more sense. Um, and on our spawning, we want to declare a new unit. It's equal to loaded unit dot instantiate tree dot root add child new unit okay and then we want new unit dot global position so and, and then we can drag in our spawn position since we're only calling it once it's probably okay to do it like that we could set it as a variable non-ready variable but we're going to do it like this okay so let's test this scene all by itself so to test the current scene we click over here on the this i think i believe it's f6 uh, i don't want to restart this close this yeah, f6 if you want to use a hotkey and you're going to start to see oh no we're not going to see unit spawn because i missed one thing we want to auto, auto start so every second we should see units spawning. Let's see. Are they going to spawn? We're not having any errors. Am I missing anything? Let's put it into our world node tree and see if it is spawning. I'm just not seeing them because they're on the edge of the map. So let's do that. Go in. Let's move these guys over here. And let's look. Oh, there they are. Now we can go and we can select them and move them. And as you see, they're not able to go through the building. And so that's how you create a little building that spawns units. What we could do in the future is make a uh, building interface and be able to queue up units, but currently that's what we're going to do for now. And uh, we could also show maybe a little uh, progress bar above it so we can see if units are being built or not. Please let me know what you would like to see. Uh, we're going to go back uh, next tutorial to our building mode and be able to set this building to a building state using this building mode. And when we click it, we add that building to the map. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment.